one of the cool things about living in tropical areas is that like I'm under a, this huge tree because they actually have huge trees in tropical areas because they don't cut them down to build stuff as much or they have rules regarding them. And if you look at the ground, look how it's pouring out there. But if you look at the ground right here, it's pretty much dry. It could be like pouring down rain and then um, you could just like walk under a tree and stay dry. So sometimes you see like 20, 30 people huddled under one tree. Take it two seconds because it's um, pausing for station identification and a quick break. Um, it is raining, it's at my ass, it's ass off right now. And so let me get underneath the tree and let's try not to get soaking wet because I got stuck out in the rain. It's kind of wet out. So I'm headed to the studio, stoked. I just scrape up some pesos for the, for the taxi. 50 pesos. $2.45 in taxi to get there. It feels pretty good not to pay $20 in a taxi. So I'm gonna head to the studio. I'm gonna be there first, set up all the gear to film, and then they're gonna come. I went through some ideas earlier. I wrote a track. Um, and every day, four o'clock for about 30 minutes, <laughs> flooding everything, the whole bit. It is kind of the rainy season coming up. I'm not sure if I wanna be here for that. I may have to go back to LA, but maybe not. Who knows? Not everybody in LA's got their shit together. This one is super nice for me. Oh, look at that. It's like a, like a C with a major seven, C. with the bass yeah. on G. Like, I love this. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I also like, like this and play with this. Uh-huh. This is like super Brazilian. See? I learned living in, in Brazil. Okay. Yeah. You're Argentinian. I'm though. from Argentina. And originally. you moved to Brazil to learn the music? Or? I actually started like uh, traveling yeah. and then I, I fell in love with the music. I used to play uh, the music and I was like coming from rock basically. Yeah. And I was like getting into like boleros and Cuban music mm -hmm. and Spanish music a little bit. And at that point I went to Brazil and I was like, oh no, it's this way. Yes, yeah. Boom, boom, right. boom, boom. Then you have the, the bass drum, right? Then you have the tambourine too. Whatever, whatever you want to do, like, but the idea is to emulate the drums with, with, with the fingers and with the chords. And then this kind of stuff, you know, yeah. it's like super like, yeah. Exactly. But you, you start adding like tensions with the chords and uh, whatever and... And well, this, this is... I think this is the idea. When I listen to Joao Gilberto for the first time, mm -hmm. that he's like the, the father of bossa nova, bossa nova guitar at least, I used to imagine like 30 people in my mind. It was mm. just himself with the guitar and I, I used to listen like 30 other people like playing drums and yeah. doing stuff and I was like, whoa, man. I believe the, the power of music, it, it's a way bigger than what you are what you can say with words mm. or with chords oh, or yeah. whatever, like with anything. Uh, yeah. yeah. But if it was all magic, there would be no, no magic. magic. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Very true. Yeah. Good. You can play bossa nova like people think it's like you can do like this, but you can also do like and you get the same flow, you know. It's like you gotta keep the groove going on. Any any kind of music, but in this one you have there is so much space that that silence. Uh, is super important. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. This one 
is more uh, Latin American. Okay. <laughs> en las redes sociales y ver los caminos que andabas de ala abierta cual gorrión Now that you play longer, you know the lower voice is you can sing longer, right? Uh huh. It's no, you, we don't write music in the high anymore because it's too much work to mm -hmm. do every every night to sing. Oh my god, too much. Yeah, yeah. So because yeah. you play the songs in your in your range, we don't exactly. stretch it. Yeah, because you have to play every night. You need to make mm -hmm. your your voice has to be rested. And, Esa alegría profunda y hoy me piden canción pa bailar. Ero, leire, ero, leire, lai lai. Cuatro ni disuada. Después de casa pende. Sentí preguiça no corpo y no me estira de vin. Bebe un agua de coco. Passa uma tarde Itapuá Ao som que há de Itapuá Ouvindo o mar de Itapuá Fala de amor de Itapuá Passa uma tarde Itapuá Ao som que há de Itapuá Ouvindo o mar de Itapuá Fala de amor de Itapuá So I was talking to a good friend the other day, and um, you know, I get these epiphany moments. The cool thing about when you make that creator jump is like something opens up in your mind to kind of show the way about the world a little more. I don't know, it just seems more open. Like I'm not so, I'm not holding something separate from my life, like I'm fully present. So the epiphany I had was that, it's not that people are giving, themse are giving too much of themselves away, it's that they're not giving themselves enough. Ever since I made this jump, like I've, um, I've given more away of myself than I, you know, I have in the past because I have more to give. And so I'm, you know, I remember like people would call me and ask me to be like, Hey, can you meet for coffee or can you give me advice on stuff? And I would, I would always say yes, but I would always like, not always, but very often I would, I didn't end up having a good time because I love giving. That's part of my temperament and my personality is that I get, I get more energy than I give out. But when you're low, it's like. You know, it's like watching the gas gauge the whole time. It's just not, it's not enjoyable. Some of the choices I've made, I actually have more free time. And so what I do is I take care of myself more. I work on things that I love. And what that does is it feeds my soul before I meet them. And so having that, like having that happen and being available, it's just like, okay. So what it was, was it's not that I was giving away too much, which a lot of people would think. And then what they do is they pull back and don't give out as much, or they just focus on their family or do whatever. That's fine, but there's also another there's another opportunity or solution there, and what that is is um, is to um, uh, give yourself more. That way, when people do come and ask you, you have enough to give. I am about to go take my first scuba lesson. What have I waited so long? I'm so happy right now, right? Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, really good. So, I guess I'm changing the name of my channel. <laughs> it's Scuba Max. Scuba Max. Hey jumpers, please hit that like button right now and subscribe immediately if you haven't already. The purpose of this channel is to help creators live a life they are passionate about. So please share this video with someone you know who may be struggling so we can help them make the jump.